Hello, hello. This is Kira Banks, Realtor of the Banks Team Advisors. And I am here today to give you another tip. Uh, today is our Tip Tuesday, and I hope this day finds you well whenever you are watching this video. All right, so our topic today is, are all agents created equal? I think that you all know the answer to that question, but we'll go ahead and say no, okay? I know that possibly you have worked with agents in the past and you could have asked yourself, well, why are they doing this? Or shouldn't they know that? And different questions you, that may have come up during the process. So I want to give you a few little tips to help you to pick your agent well and to also almost want to say try to work through the process with them as well. Now, throughout my years, I have gotten the opportunity to obviously work with other agents because there's always another agent on the other side. I've learned some amazing things from other agents because I'm always ready to learn and pick up things from people that can help me grow and expand in life. But also I've learned a lot of what not to do and things that really matter to clients. Okay. So I want to go through a few things that you can look for when you're on your journey to find the right agent. We know that you are making the biggest purchase of your life, right? Probably one of the big purchases of your life and one of the greatest, such a great investment of your money. So let's go through a few little tips. I'm not going to take a lot of time. And I could imagine there's tons of other videos that can help with this topic. But here are a few things that I've picked up over the years and why agents are not all created equal. All right, number one, personality differences. We know that there's tons of personality tests out there. I think it's really good that you know yours and then you can pick up someone else's, okay? Because that'll be able to let you know how the process will go throughout your time with them. So one huge test is called the DISC test. I've taken it, team members, our team members have, because it's very important to us that we as a team, as well as ourselves, know ourselves well, but know who is working around us. So D, of course, stands for dominance. I in that disc stands for an influencer. And the S stands for steady. D stands for conscientious. Now you can do a whole nother study. We're not gonna go deep into what the disc means, but something about personality and obviously some people's personality will clash. There's some people on that disc who it's gonna be hard to work with the other side depending on, on their personality. And sometimes you're gonna mesh well together. So personality plays a huge part in that process of why all agents are not created equal. We know that personality sometimes can be a deciding factor in how you make decisions or how you do things, okay? So think about that. Think about that person's personality. Is that something you can work with? <laughs> I've obviously worked with agents who have been uh, very dominant, very strong, but also some that are very soft-spoken and very steady. You know, you can know what's going to come from them. So all ends of the spectrum. And as agents, I'm going to also input this, that we make sure we're ready to deal with all types of personality. We know that we won't always get maybe one that meshes well with our personality, okay? All right, number two is work history and background. This is another reason why all agents are not created equal. Maybe they had a background or upbringing or even a work history that maybe didn't enable them to have all of the skills yet to be the best agent that they can be, but maybe they're still working on that, okay? So that's something that you can always ask them. Hey, you know, what did you do before real estate? It's kind of a cool question anyway to, to see. For me, myself, since I'm recording this video, I was a social worker before I was in real estate. So some people are, they pity me. They're like, man, you've got, you've seen a lot, gone through a lot. Yes, I did, but I loved it and wouldn't have traded that, that season of my life for anything and, and all that I was able to help. So, all right that. Now, number three is experience. What is their experience in real estate? You may actually be working with someone who's new. That could be a good thing 
it could be a scary thing. But again, that depends on your personality. Some people don't want to, quote unquote, take that kind of risk. But some people will to give that person a shot and an opportunity to grow and learn. But then there's other people that may have years and years of experience. So they have already done a lot of the good, the bad, the ugly. They've seen a lot. And so they're experienced and ready to go. So neither one is maybe better than the other, but it's just something good that you should know. Okay. Also, how, number four, how they structure or run their business. There are some people that they may be available to you 24 seven, and there may be others that are very systematic and structured saying, okay, I'm only available from this time to this time. So knowing how they run their business or how they structure it can be of great importance to you. So also one last thing I'll put on there, which is number five, such as what have they learned from their brokerage? Every brokerage is not created equal. Outside of the agent, the broker also plays a a major part in every agent's learning and skill set. Okay, so take that into account as well as you are picking and choosing an agent. So please know all agents are not created equal. Maybe they don't have the same skill sets or knowledge or experience. So Keep that in mind. One last little nugget I'm gonna leave with you is when you're choosing an agent, make sure these are three other bonuses that you know, like, and trust them. There's so many ways that you can know someone, see if you're gonna like them, and find out if you can trust them. And that could be from a referral, maybe your friend has used them, Also, reviews. Okay, reviews are another great way to find out about an agent. And then lastly, asking them questions. We are going to leave for you some questions that you can ask agents whenever you're interviewing them. All right, I hope you have found this video very helpful in your journey to home ownership or selling a home. If you like this video, let us know. We want to hear, we want to know. Please follow us. All of the social handles will be there and we look forward to serving you real soon. Remember, if it's real estate, take it to the banks. Bye. 